important algebraic structure that occurs throughout modern mathematics is that of a field. It has numerous applications in a wide variety of areas, ranging from pure math subjects like linear algebra, abstract algebra, and number theory, to more applied areas like differential equations, physics, and cryptography. In this video, I will teach you exactly what a field is and go through a few simple proofs showing which common mathematical structures are fields. First off, let's go through its definition. A field is a set that consists of two binary operations, addition and multiplication. These operations are defined so that for any pair of elements A and B that are in the field, there are unique elements A plus B and A times B that exist in the field as well. This means that a field is closed under both addition and multiplication. Furthermore, the following axioms must hold for all elements in the field. Both addition and multiplication are commutative. So for any two elements, the order in which you add or multiply doesn't matter. Both addition and multiplication are associative. So when adding or multiplying, the way elements are grouped doesn't matter. Zero and one must exist. These are usually referred to as the additive identity and the multiplicative identity. This axiom says that there must be an additive inverse and a multiplicative inverse. And the final axiom ensures that distributivity holds. So these five axioms seem natural enough, and at first glance, one might guess that any basic number system will satisfy them. However, this turns out to not be the case. Let's consider four of the most familiar number systems which most people encounter in high school mathematics. First, the integers. These are defined as the set of whole numbers stretching from negative infinity to positive infinity. Second, the rational numbers. These are the set of all numbers that can be written as a ratio, a over b, where a and b are both integers. Third, the irrational numbers. These are numbers that cannot be written as ratios. Some common examples include pi, e, and the square root of two. Finally, the real numbers. These are defined as the union of the set of rationals and the set of irrationals. So which of these systems do you think are fields? Let's go through them one by one.
Thank you.